Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Monday. How's everybody doing this morning? Hopefully, everybody's all uh, feeling great. Looks like everyone's hitting that CEI. Beautiful stock, right? Looks like she's in the back of the move again, guys. Yeah. Damn, I wish we had that. I, you know what? We were talking about this the other day. I said, you know what? You want to be a good uh, swing trader? You damn well better know how to day trade. Stock has been treating us very, very nicely. Looks like everyone just cashed out a little bit. Gene, you're up about 11 cents already? Benito's already, you, well, you got two, I don't know, you got worth, oh, you thought worth watching. Made about uh, 230, uh, what do we got there? Wayne already made about eight cents. Oh, listen, you guys, a round of applause. Gotta love the free market. That was the first one I was on my list. Yeah, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at the level four. There's, just be very careful. There's, there's been a seller, um, shoot, he's been out there since almost eight, almost 8.15 in the morning. There's a 42,000 share seller. I'm looking at level four at 236. Okay, so uh, we're almost there. So it looks like you still got a little bit more room. Uh, looks like it just hit a guy at 230 where it just backed off. All right, but we're going to talk about all this good stuff. And uh, let me tell you, not only that, there's, a, there's some really nice stocks are getting crushed, crushed today. And you know, I'm a big fan of bottom fishing and we're going to talk about them. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened on Friday. First of all, let's start off with the CCCL. Had a nice little move on that one on Friday. You can see that stock literally went from a buck fifty down to a dollar. Nice little short right there. Had a really, really nice gap up. That stock did pretty well. PCG. Also another great little short right there. And uh PCG waiting for the data. Coming right up. So um that had a really nice little tank. We we've been watching that stock on a nice little rally. You know, some people think, oh, maybe it's coming back, coming back. Listen, you know what? Take the money and run, and look what happens. We didn't get out. It's just gapped up that even bigger this morning, which also is going to make on the watch list. And uh, what else we had? Uh, the TGTX. Uh, now, I'm just going to be honest with you. On Friday, you know, we're getting close to Christmas. A lot of people want to get ready for the weekends. You know what I mean? It wasn't really a good day. So, it, you know, we don't have a really, really good list that would that happened on Friday. But you know what? I said that on Friday also. I said, you know what? I'm not really excited about it. And you could tell right away. But, you know, once again, it's always new stocks that open up in the morning. But today, let me tell you, pretty excited about it. All right. There's a lot of good stocks that are moving, especially that we have a lot of new people that are joining us today on their first day on Monday. So hopefully this whole week is going to be a very exciting one. And uh, all we can tell you guys is look, listen, and learn. So let's start off with the watch list because there are some really good ones. First of all, let's start with not the not the um, not the top of the list. I'll talk about some of the other ones. Uh, first of all, uh, AS, uh, AXSM. Now I told you about this stock. This stock was actually um, on my watch list this morning. The AXSM. I put this. If you go on look at the watch list, uh, I, I post this around like 7.30 this morning. And you could see about almost 8 o'clock I was logged in. Early bird gets the money. And you could see right here, let me just fix the time frame on this stock right here because we're looking at a five-minute chart, we're looking at a one-minute. So that was right around here. And the stock was right around 77. And you can see where it is at 85. So it is a level five type of stock. But I know a lot of you, but we were watching this stock. The stock has been having a great move since October. Envision this. The stock was $15, okay? Look where it is now, 85 So um, that's, that's, that's day trading and swing trading at its best. And she's still making uh, really, really strong going into this open. Breaking all-time highs, we all know what that leads to. Uh, one stock that, I got a, uh, that is on the top of my list that I'm really enjoying is the a ASRT. Okay, let's look at this little baby right here. You know we're fans of very inexpensive stocks. Look at this ASRT. Nice spread. Look at this. You know what that is right there? Over here on the right, a hundred thousand share buyer at a buck thirty-seven. When's the last time you saw a hundred thousand share buyer, you know, on a stock? Guess what? Here. Where? On level three and on level four. So anyway, it looks like it's holding there pretty strongly. Let's see how it goes, but that's a pretty significant buyer, guys. I don't think anyone out there here is buying $140,000 worth of stock. I mean, that's and by the way, if you and for all the the um the haters out there and all the people think that's a fake orders out there, I'm gonna make a bet right now. Why don't you go out there right now and execute that guy? Anybody want to take that? Anybody want to take that bet? Anybody want to go out there and execute that hundred to see if he's real or not? I always get a kick out when people tell me that. 
Nobody wants to take that chance, right? I didn't think so. <laughs> All right. So this must be real. A lot, a lot of shares right there. Uh, what else we got here? So, oh, we got the PTI, PTI, another one. We've been trading this stock very frequently. Look at this stock in the middle of um, October. Stock went from a dollar. Look where it is now. It's almost at 465. It's not up a lot, but we traded the stock. You know how to trade it because it should be on your journals. You should have took very good notes on it. Stock has been very, very strong. Okay, let's talk about some of the losers, okay? WEV, okay? What's going on with this thing? Talking about a haircut down 52%, okay? Stock's getting crushed, but you know what? Look what's happening. Since 8 o'clock this morning, it was at $14. Talking about a little dead cat bounce there. What do you say, okay? That stock, I'm definitely keeping an eye on it. Love, 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 love. Stocks will get destroyed. And you know what? Look at that. It took a month, a whole month, to go from 17 all the way up to about 40, and you lose it all in one day. You know what? That's why you can't go broke taking profits, all right? That one's going to be a good one on the watch. Goose. And this is not Canadian goose, okay? The different goose. Uh, so we got goose, take another stock, another bottom fish. Look at this, $15 stock up to 27. Look where it opens up. Boom, right back down to 15. You lose it all in one day, okay? A lot of work, so exciting. You're probably looking forward to spending all that money. Boom. You got to be, be careful, guys. This is why, you know, listen, you can make a lot of money in swing trading, but you sure could lose a hell of a lot more, you know, on overnights. So that one, we also got it. Another one, S -C, um, C -C, um, C -E -I. So anyway, this is what I was trying to tell you. There was a big seller right there. Now it's 13,000 shares at 330. There was a 44,000 share seller just a little above it, and that's why it's down to 215. A lot of you guys took a profit on it. That's why you can't get greedy and get cocky on this thing. But I do see a 26,000 share buyer uh, at a buck 90. We'll definitely like to keep an eye on that. PCG's on the watch list. So anyway, that stock has been taking a little bit of a turn for the worst. Uh, we all know about, we're hearing it all over TV. We're talking about right here, uh, Boeing. Boeing is taking a very, very big hit. And um, shockingly, it is not taking out the Dow because it is a Dow stock. But um, down 4%, it's a lot. I mean, the stock is... You know, 140, uh, 341, it's down to 327. But anyway, we're not trading Boeing, right? You know, and of all the options traders out there, people, of course I wouldn't trade Boeing. I'll trade the options. Okay, you know what? Let's go trade every, let's go trade WEV. Let's go trade ASRT. You know, you'll have to trade Boeing because you can't afford it. And then I know Josh can be talking about this one, AMRN trade. Oops, spelled it wrong. AMRN. You bring up that one right here. So that stock has been treating us very, very well. But now you can see in the pre-market how it's going down. Another nice little swing trade and uh, gapped up pretty nicely. But look how it's taking a lot of the profit. Now, um, I, I mean, listen, if you go through the watch list, you could see all of them. PCG down 20%. Goose down 28%. Uh, what do we got here? The uh, WEV down 52%. You know, but when you, and then over here, you can see the big gainers, you know, the AS, the AXSM, you know, up 82%. But once again, stock that's really, you know, very expensive. You got to be a little bit more advanced trader to trade it. So let me tell you, I'm actually quite shocked and, you know, for a Monday to get this kind of a list. This is so rare that I've ever seen this amount of stocks in pre-market that you guys have been trading. But once again, we always got the market. It's going to open up and there's always new ones that will show up out of the blue. Uh, Gene says, what about GE? I mean, uh, General Motors. Okay, so General Motors, you tell me. You tell me. Okay, absolutely zero. Why are we even looking at the stock? Why are we even considering it? It's a waste of our time. Okay, there's a lot more. St Remember, you make money on volatility, not on negativity. And negativity is that the stock is actually negative of any day that's going on. So stay away from it. All right, guys, so a nice little list that we got going on here. Uh, anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? I think we pretty much got them all. Now, remember, today is Monday. We always want to be careful, even though we have a good list. And also, we have a new, a bunch of new traders that are doing that starting today. We always start them on Monday, so you get a feel what it's like going into the week. We tell all of you that if you're new here to Cybertrain University, please do not buy anything that we trade. First of all, we didn't teach you how to trade, number one. And number two, you're just here to look, listen, and learn. And a lot of people think nobody makes money doing this. I know a lot of you are trying to learn to see if this is for you. 
So just sit back and just watch the show. And most importantly, don't watch me. Watch the traders, see how they trade on their own, because that's the goal. It's not us that make you money. Our job is to teach you how to stop losing it. It's your job to learn how to make it. And that's the only way you're going to figure that out is watch everybody in the room. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And, uh, and we will start audio commentating in about less than 10 minutes once the market opens up. We'll be trading up until about 1030 and then enjoying a nice little, uh, nice little lunch. And we'll be back at 230 trading to close. So just um, have that all planned. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.